Welcome back to the plot, everyone. It's Saturday the 7th. Yeah, I think it's the 7th. 7th of September. And it's been raining for days here in Exeter, which is not a bad thing. We could do with some more rain now and again. But uh, still spitting with rain t today. And the rain is going to get worse. And it's going to be even worse tomorrow. So I'm not actually going to be doing a lot today, but I do need to pick a few things. Uh, I need some potatoes and... Uh, some, I want to take any ripe tomatoes I've got, and I have got some ripe tomatoes, I, I can see them from here. But let me give you, let's have a quick walk around the plot and we'll see what's what. And uh, we'll empty a tub of potatoes later and see what we get out of the tubs. So let me swing a camera around and we'll have a walk around before the rain gets too heavy. Right, I'm in the little greenhouse at the moment and I've got this nice red pepper. Now, I believe this one is a Hungarian wax. It's a sweet, when I say sweet, it's, a, uh, it's, it's not a hot pepper. It's a, a sweet one. So, yeah, I'll be taking that home with me tonight. I'll have that. Um, there's nothing on these ones. Oh, there's, uh, there's a little one on there. I don't think much will come of that. Let's see, yes it is still raining a little bit, so I'm going to put my hat on. We have finally got some tomatoes. So, I'm going to be picking all the tomatoes, including those cherry ones. The tomato plants are not looking great this year. They can come off. But uh, at this stage in the game, I'm going to take any tomatoes I can. As you can see, these ones split, probably because of yesterday's rain. But I'll take them anyway. I've got a couple of Roma over there. They'll be coming home tonight. Uh, a few down here. I didn't pay enough attention with these plants. And I didn't take care of them really, to tell you the truth. Um, so, any I get off them is going to be great. Uh, I wish I could have got these ones. As you can see, I've got a couple of big beefsteak ones there. They might actually ripen off the plant. So, all's not lost at the moment. Oh, I didn't want that to happen, but there you go. Uh, these ones are not going to grow big enough anyway. So yeah, I took my eye off the ball when it came to the tomatoes this year. And uh, although I'm getting some... Um, it's, it's, they're not great plants, and then I should have done better, really. Lesson learned from next year. Uh, I'm going to take some of these potatoes. They're all dying back now. These are main crop. Uh, so I'll limp to a, a couple of tubs of these, and we'll see what I get. Didn't get many green gauges on this tree this year for some reason. Don't know why. I mean, we stripped all the lower leaves and lower branches, but uh, I would say we got less than 30 off it. Um, that is a kohlrabi, and it's sort of like beefing up a bit. And there's one there as well. Which is good because I thought these would all be gone. I mean, that's I can see the holes in that one. Let me just lift the net. As you can see the holes. I don't know whether you can see the holes. Oh, see these holes made by slugs and there oh, I could get my thumb through there so there's not much on that but this little red cabbage is hurting up it has got a little bit of slug damage but it is looking okay so I'll be taking that 
the purple beans, these are dying back now. So what I usually do when the, the plant starts buying, dying black, you know, you can see the leaves are good yellow. Uh, I'll leave the last remaining um, pods on the plant to sort of like pod up. And I can, once they dry out, I'll take the beans. Some of the beans will be used over the winter for soups and stews. Um, some of the beans will be used for next year's seed. Uh, I've got I've got a couple of big bags of these in the freezer. They're really really good. Uh, these are the Berlotti beans. These were late getting sown because I tried doing runa. I wasn't going to do Berlotti beans this year. I was going to do runa beans. Um, but the runa beans didn't germinate. Oh, sorry, one germinated. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, so after that, I decided right. I've got some Berlotti beans, so I'll put them out. I might get a few, they, they, these might eventually come of something. But um, yeah, I'll just see the, the plants. But a lot of beans take a long time, a lot longer than the purple beans uh, to get to size. And this was the one run of bean that I did get and I planted it here. And it's not even tried. Um, you've, you've got, there's one little bean there. Oh, that's a Berlotti bean. So, yeah, I've, since this one germinated, I thought I'll put it in the ground and I'll see if I can get enough seed, fresh seed, for next year. But, um, yeah, it's not even trying. Uh, not so much over here. I have been growing some peppers out here. I have got a couple of it, but it's just, the plant's just tooled down and the slugs come in, come in and get them. Uh, this stage in the game, I mean, there's plenty of flowers on this one, but at this stage, this late time of the year, growing peppers outside in the UK is uh, not going to be worthwhile. As you can see, there's a couple in there. I might... I could try digging them up and putting them in the little greenhouse, see if that helps. But, uh, yeah, I'm not too bothered Bothered now. Leeks are doing okay. They're all beginning to get a lot bigger, a lot thicker. Uh, I've got more lettuce Christmas trees. I've got a couple of beetroot there as well. Um, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this bed, whether I'm going to shut it down for over the winter or actually do anything with it. This is the Achocha, which didn't amount to nothing. Delilah got a couple of Achocha in her plant. Um, she says they didn't taste of anything special, so we won't be growing them again. But uh, I'll take out a couple of these good ones for me and Delilah. And... Uh, Nelly and Angus can have uh, can have one as well. Or they can have one of the ones here. I have got some more lettuce at home I'm growing, so once they get big enough, I can bring them up and put them in the ground. Redley Sorrel's doing quite nice now. It didn't look as if it was doing anything, but it's come back. I wonder if it's one of these plants that likes cooler temperatures. Like your pack joints, things like that. Uh, a few small strawberries here. I'll be taking them home today. Uh, so I'll, I'll have I'll have a root round here and see if there's anything worth taking home. Have a little treat for myself. A couple down there as well. But yeah, they've done, they've done quite well this year. Uh, we did have a volunteer potato plant grown in here. And I dug it out a couple of weeks ago. Unfortunately, a lot of the ones at the top uh, were green. But the ones down below, it's surprisingly how many I got, considering it was a volunteer. The ones at the top were green. Uh, they've been exposed to light. But not to worry, because I'm going to use them as seed potatoes uh, next year. So I've got them somewhere safe at the minute. 
and I shall use them as seed potatoes. Uh, I will come over here. Sweet corn. I might have one down there. Um, I might have. I might get that one. These are not doing very well. They're putting it at a reasonable time as well. I don't know why they didn't grow. And here, I've got some nice kale eventually coming up, which is good. I took the cauliflower out of there, but I left the planting for the leaves, for any snails and slugs, to act as a, like a sacrificial leaves. So that if any snails and slugs came, I was hoping they were going to go for the cauliflower rather than my red cabbages. That one's beginning to grow a little heart in it. That one's looking almost perfect. And I've got a little one here. So the red cabbages are doing well. I did have a couple of greyhound in here, uh, but they've disappeared. <laughs> uh, these are cauliflower again. I, now, I think the heart got eaten out of that one by slugs or snails. So, um, very early on, so the rest of the plant's grown, but it's not grown a heart. I could be wrong there. But I think I'm beginning to get ahead on this one. And this is a Romanescu uh, cauliflower. I'll stick a picture in here right now. So it'd be great if that is a Romanescu and I, yeah, it'd be great if we got one for one off that one as well. So it'd be great if we got some nice cauliflowers out of there. Because uh, I've never ever got one of these to grow to fruition. Um, they usually are cauliflowers. They seem to be a bit of a stumbling point for me. So I've got a couple of jobs to do this afternoon. Uh, Delilah's not here at the moment, she's going to join me later. I think it'll be a case of um, a cup of coffee, a few biscuits, then uh, just get what we're taking home before the rain comes. Although it's stopped raining at the minute, uh, we are due a lot of rain from three o'clock onwards, which is only in about an hour and a half's time. So I'm not going to do an awful lot, but I am going to start picking my tomatoes and I'll do a potato review when I've finished everything else. So I'm going to put the camera down, get on with a bit of work, and I'll come back at the end and I'll show you what I've got. Okay, uh, this is the second... Oh, go on, kick the camera, John. Uh, this is the second tub of potatoes. Some idiot forgot to switch the camera on for the first tub. There wasn't an awful lot in the first tub, to be honest. I'll show you after I get these out. And there isn't an awful lot in this one as well. I presume that's the seed potato. Nope, that's the seed potato. I'm wondering whether we've got a bit of blight in these. I think I've got most of them out now. We'll just get rid of all this compost and I'll show you what we got in the first one. Great result, tell you the truth. I 
and the rain's getting heavier. So there you go. There's what we got from uh, There's what we got from the two uh, potato buckets. It's a couple of decent sized ones. I mean, they'll get eaten, but yeah, not an awful lot. Other things we've managed to get today is we've got a nice crop of tomatoes. As you can see, this one, a slug got inside it and decided to eat it from the inside. Maybe the skin's a bit tough on them. Got a couple of lettuces. And we've got a little pepper as well. So, yeah, that's what I've managed to pick today. Oh yeah, and the red vein sorrel. Okay, the rain's beginning to get a bit heavier now, so uh, I'm going to pack up and go home. I'll send Delilah, Delilah a message. Hopefully she's not on her way here. But uh, yeah, I'm not going to be gardening in the way. It's just, yeah, it's, it's not much fun. So thanks for watching. Um, I've got a few days off later in the month. So uh, maybe I'll get, be able to come up and do a bit more later this month. Uh, but thanks for watching. If you want to, feel free to subscribe. It doesn't cost anything. You hit the subscription button and hit the little bell. And you'll be notified whenever I put a video up. But that's me from now for a very soggy Exeter. Bye for now, and I'll see you next time.